Good afternoon, ladies. Today is February 25th, 2020, and I wanted to give you a short update in the menopause world of what is new in terms of some exciting research that you are gonna want to know about. So glad that you found me here, either through my email or on YouTube. Please like and subscribe this video so that I will make more of these. So very exciting news is that there is a newer non-hormonal option that is currently in the early stages of investigation. What this medication is, it is a neurokinin 1-3 receptor antagonist and that is a medical jargon in and of itself. But what it really means is that it blocks certain receptors in the brain that become bigger after menopause, after you don't make any estrogen anymore, looking perhaps for estrogen. And when estrogen doesn't come and bind, it's changing the thermal regulatory zone in your brain. So by blocking these with this medication, a neurokinin 1-3 receptor antagonist or a neurokinin blocker, it's a receptor blocker, right? It really kind of cuts off that signal and therefore it's through some pathways, it is really stopping the hot flashes. So it's a receptor blocker and it is not estrogen, whereas estrogen is more of an antagonist or it it, that means it binds to these um, neurons that are firing looking for estrogen and then that satisfies that response that your brain wants, that estrogen. So by blocking it, this is what this new medication is trying to do. So we're trying to treat symptomatic vasomotor symptoms and night sweats by using a new non-hormonal option. So a recent study just came out, again, it's February, 2020, looking at a small study of about 78 women who took the um, a, a few different doses of this medication and actually they found compared to placebo, there was a reduction in hot flashes and a reduction in night sweats compared to the women who took the placebo. So it's randomized and blinded study. That means if you were in the study, you didn't know if you were getting the placebo, which is essentially a sugar tab. If you're getting, I believe it was 50 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 150 and 300 milligrams of this medication, the um, neurokinin uh, receptor antagonist, the blocker. It seems like in the study, although it was small, the results were really favorable, meaning there was no adverse outcomes. And it looked like the best dose was probably the 150 uh, milligrams. The 300 works really well, but maybe had some effects of somnolence, just kind of feeling tired and I believe headaches. So looks like 150 may be the best dose of this medication. And so while it was small, there was no adverse outcomes and it did seem to work rather quickly. And this may have a benefit over hormonal options such as essentially estrogen replacement and might be another option that we can use in our arsenal for um, women who choose or cannot tolerate estrogen. So this is really exciting news. So what this all means is that there's going to be some larger studies, what we call phase 2B studies, and then on to phase 3 studies, ideally at some point comparing this medication um, to the current gold standard, which is hormone replacement. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this is all going to turn out. And this is really exciting. It's always, it's always a great thing to have different options because not one size fits all, especially for menopause. So stay tuned for more. Hope that was helpful. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to hear or learn about anything else. Have a good afternoon. Bye.